we're seeing this tree in a snapshot in its life. We're catching it here at this moment in time. Four main stems come off of this root crown. And even though we do have good signs of circulation here and there in the tree, we would have to note this trunk shows decline signs and some poor bark conditions low on the trunk. So we have to mitigate that. We can't let the tree just have a failure. So we're going to install for safety the secondary brace. We have our support post we're going to install under the largest of the tree's main trunks. This is a permanent installation. This is going to stay with the tree for the rest of its life. If this tree did not have a target, we may say, well, no brace is really necessary, but the tree does have a target. We have a house under the tree and a garage under the tree, and this little breezeway going through. So we can't allow a failure like this to occur. So we're going to mitigate our safety hazard, our observed hazard, with a jack screw brace. It's been manufactured and welded. It's brand new fresh today. We have not painted it yet. When it's all up and installed, We'll go ahead and clean it and spray paint it to protect it from corrosion. So we're going to find our pick point. We're going to establish our, our 175 inch brace. And with oaks, with their unique form of lateral limbs, usually arching away from each other, each main stem is in full cantilever. So even though the tree appears to have good balance, and it, and it does, we still have the fact that all of these main four trunks all arch away from each other. So each of the main stems is in full cantilever with respect to the remainder of the tree. So we have endeavored to provide assured safety for the tree. We want to send the tree into the future. And if the tree dies, it'll die standing and not lying on the ground. There we go. We're just uh, lubricating the threads of our jack screw. This pin is going to go in the underside of our large lateral limb. We've got a drive washer on the top. We've got our support plate on the top of the box tubing. We're double nutted on the top and, and double nutted underneath. So we should have plenty of support strength for our support of the jacks group. What we're doing now is establishing our foot plate. We've got a base plate on the bottom of our box tubing jack screw. We're going to establish our, our position for our base plate. And we want to have the jack screw brace pretty much plumb. We're going to try to set it where we're precisely vertical. So I'm just going below the leaf mulch, the compressible material, down to soil level, and we'll set our base plate just below grade, below the leaf mulch. We're going to chip out a little piece of concrete here from our ornamental brickwork so that our foot plate can go all the way down to the soil level without having any portion of the foot plate sitting on hardscape. We want the soil under the foot plate to be of equal compressibility so we don't get any tilting or asymmetrical loads to it. So we're going to take a hammer here and a chisel and we're going to chip out a little bit of concrete there so it can sit in properly. We've just about got that position now and with a line we're going to raise up our post and position it under the limb to be supported. That's the next step. To secure our brace during installation we've put a safety line up here this brace is well over 200 pounds in weight, over 14 feet tall, so pretty unwieldy. Therefore, we have safetyed it with a line so that we can keep it under control as we're adjusting and positioning. So pretty important on a brace of this size. This is a pretty big brace, but it's a very large tree. This is what was required. We are now going to establish our single pick point where we support this lateral limb. We're going to check this post with a level and determine our verticalness and establish our final position. So we're going to go ahead and start aligning with uh, level and plumb bob, square it up as best we can. Then we'll go ahead and establish our, our pick point into the main stem here and raise up our jack screw to apply the support that we're looking for on this tree. Here's our drill. Our pin is .820 in diameter, just under an inch. Our drill is the same size. We're going to go on size with our pin, our pick point. I'm going to have to kind of do this little trick here of angle first and then straighten up. Limited by our hardscape and our brickwork, we were able to come in 12 feet back from the root crown. It's always a compromise when we're trying to find our ideal locations. This is about as good a spot as we could find. 
We chiseled ourselves a little pad down to sound firm wood. We've cut through the bark and we've treated the hole and our pin with the orange oil beeswax to arrest decay. We don't want this to turn into a decay site and I don't think it will. We have preloaded our pick point here. We we're double nutted at the top. We're double nutted here at the entry point. The tree will swallow this pick point. We're going to have the bark closing in around it and securing it. We've got a nice plate, about a one inch plate on top. We're welded, heliarch welded to the end of our four inch by four inch quarter inch wall box tubing. Very robust brace, but it's a very large tree. We don't want to wimp out. We have gone really mighty with our, with our support. This is going to stay put. The wind is not going to sway this very large limb very much, so it won't lift off of our support pin here. We feel very good about this. Now this tree has been very safely secured. We're going to see it into the future. Instead of maybe having only five years, now we have 50, 60, 70, who knows, 100 years to go.